What's going on guys? We're out here today and today it's How Tuesday and on How Tuesday I'll show you how to do something outdoors whether it be processing, hunting, fishing, um, outdoors, just outdoor stuff. But anyway for today's outdoor video I'm going to show you guys how I process small catfish slash bullheads and well let's, get, let's go ahead and get started. All right, and to get started, you're going to need something to use like a skinning board. They have these clip ones at Walmart. I'm just going to use one with a nail. This is great for catfish. And the board I'm using is a, it's just a little, uh, I think it's a one by eight. And I've got a nail in it like this. This is a uh, sinker nail. And all that is is just a nail with kind of like ridges on it. And that just holds the fish head down to the board. A pair of pliers. Some sort of knife. I forgot my fillet knife. So I'm just going to use this one. And of course, a catfish. This one's already dead. Uh, basically all you do is just cut right through their head and it kills them instantly. He's probably going to flop a lot while we're working on him, but that's totally fine. He's, he's dead. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. All you're going to do is take your pliers, lift him up by the mouth, and you're just going to cut all the way around the head right behind the gills. And now that you've cut, you're just going to take you and push his head onto the board and you're good. Now you take these pliers, grab his skin, and just pull it right off and it comes off very easily. And now take your knife and you can cut the tail off. It's really your preference, but on sunfish I would leave it on, but on catfish I always cut it off. And then come up here and also cut the dorsal fin off. Now we got him nice and cleaned up. Now you're just gonna come up here and cut right down behind his gills and cut his head off. And then whenever you get to the bottom, just kind of pull back. And there you go. And then you can cut this fin off right here too. But yeah, just cut it right in here and then you can pull it right off with your knife. And then come right down here and then just cut all the way down to the uh, vent and pull all that bad stuff out of there. And there you go, you're golden. And uh, yeah, this is just a full body skin on a catfish. It's how I do smaller catfish, such as like channels in an overpopulated pond or lake, or how I would do uh, bullheads like this one. This is actually a yellow bullhead. You guys may be thinking that this is pretty small, and uh, well, it's actually as big as most of these get. You can catch them a little bit bigger, but where I caught this one, you can't. Yeah, and then all this you just discard. I'm going to go ahead and go wash this off. Oh, there we go. Perfectly good catfish body ready to eat. Well, not yet. you got to cook it first because, well, obviously. Jeez, man, it's about to storm. You can't see it on camera because, well, I don't know why. You just can't, though. All right, guys, and as you can see, I'm no longer at the chicken coop. I'm actually in the creek. And, uh, well, that's because this video is probably about three minutes or so long at this point. And, uh, yeah, and that's not really a long video. So I'm going to go ahead and go fishing for the rest of the video. I might do something else. Probably not. I'll probably just fish, catch some cool fish. I don't really know. But anyway, I'm going to get you ties, turn around, and see if we can catch some fish. And we are actually down here. I actually caught some massive sunfish here. I'll probably put it on video. I don't know. I video pretty much everything. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to fishing. I am using my ultralight rod and reel. But, um, I'm using a little curly tail, it ain't a curly tail, it was a curly tail worm, but now it's just a little grub worm on a tiny little hook, I don't even know what size that is to be honest, it probably just, I probably found it in the bottom of a tackle box and then threw it in there, and that's exactly what I did, but anyway, I've got me a little rod holder, I didn't know I could do that, but you guys are upside down now, but it works, okay, I'm just going to use that, anyway, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started fishing, and yeah, and actually, right where I'm fishing is a deer track. Let's see if I can find anything else. All right, here we go. First cast. Um, I ran into a what I thought was a pterodactyl. I mean, like you know, it probably wasn't, but it was a. I think it was a crane, like a big sandhill crane, and it was like flying. Well, I thought it was flying. It wasn't at first, but uh, on the way here, yeah. Oh, there's one. Oh, it come off. That was a big sunfish. I think. I don't even know what it was to be honest. But anyway, um, yeah, it was like I was coming across this bridge up here, and I have to cross to get up here, and I just heard something, like, take off, and it was over in the road. So I was like, oh, it's probably just a vulture or something. But anyway, they, like, took off, and it made, like, a weird noise. Oh, dang it. 
I'm pretty sure it was a crane, but I mean, it was huge too. It had like a probably a eight foot wingspan, six foot wingspan, something like that. I think there's one. Got him. Haha, <laughs> yep. Big old sunfish. I think it is a pumpkin seed. Oh, nope, it's green sunny, but it's a pretty green sunny. See ya, um, 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 Madison. There's one. Got him. Oh, wow, just a little tiny green sunfish. Little greenies for days. I didn't name him, but I, I'm going to call him Billy Bob. He don't know his name, but I didn't get to tell him, so. Yeet. That was a horrible yeet. I can't cast pretty far with this. Even though it is on ultralight, it is extremely light. Let's try over here in this little little inlet-looking outfit. Really? Nothing? Not even in the inlet-looking outfit? Yeet. Oh, something big just tried to grab that. He swapped at it. Is he going to come back? Let's see if I can raise it up and get him to come back. Oh, there he is. I might switch to a bigger bait because there's bigger fish in here. I just, you know, small baits, they can pretty much catch all fish. But sometimes you just got to, you just got to, you got to send it, you know? Yeet. Oh, that was a good spot. It's shallow. Oh, there he is. Nope. Okay. He was a lot bigger or a lot smaller than he looked. Is it raining? It's raining. Jeez, man. You guys can probably tell, but I'm extremely sick. Well, I don't know about extremely, but I'm sick. And my voice is absolutely horrible. Oh, oh, oh. There he is. Got him. Oh, wow. I thought this guy looked like a rainbow trout, which he kind of does, but he's not a rainbow trout. Oh, he's bleeding. I don't know how that happened. I might have caught him before. Yeet. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Huh, I think I need more weight. I'm going to put a split shot on it, which really isn't good for lures, but these are creek fish, so it don't really matter, I guess. They'll eat anything pretty much, so uh, yeah. I just, uh, I just gonna... Oh, gosh, I'm going to die here a second. Jeez, man. All right, this is the biggest split, or smallest split shot I have. It's also the biggest, because it's the only split shot I have. It's like a, uh, I think it's an eighth of an ounce or sixteenth, or something like that. Honestly, don't know, but it's pretty big for what I'm using it for. Oh. oh, wow. Okay. That's a nice tree. I'll just try to catch it, I guess. I think I can get it. Yeah, I got him. Oh, okay. I thought that was a fish. That was just a something. I don't know what it was. Wasn't a fish, though. My voice is a little horse. All right, guys. We are back out in the water, and uh, I got the little crankbait tied on. Let's see what kind of damage we can do with this sucker. Oh, yeah, that's a nice yeet. But they don't even seem interested in this, which is kind of surprising. So I'll just kind of stand up here, get me a little bit of leverage, I guess. I don't really know what kind of... I'm not a physicist. I don't know what to call it. Okay, yeah, I'll just cast over where there's no water. That's that's the perfect way to catch fish, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, man, he came off. I had something. I saw him swap at it. Might go after him with a giant worm. Does that not look enticing enough for you, fish? Why shall you be so picky? All right, let's try this again. Ah, uh, uh, no, 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 no. That's not where I want it. Come on, man, you could do better than that. There we go. That's a little better, I guess. Okay, yep, that's not working. I'm not even getting bites on this. Uh-oh. So let's skedaddle over here to my tackle box and see what we got. All right, we got um, catfish hooks, no use for us. Trout hooks that are empty. Clippers, we, we might be able to catch something like that. We got assorted split shot. Uh, what's this? We have a uh, little piece of a that might work, okay? I might try that, but not yet. And then I have a curly tail worm and a little bass rigged worm. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna try this just, just because I want to, no reason. But anyway, let's, let's, let's geek this sucker and see what kind of damage we can do with it. Oh, I already got, no, okay, I just got hung up. Oh, okay, and I lose the lure too. 
Um, yeah, I didn't even didn't even get to finish the first cast. I think I'm just gonna rig it on there like this and hopefully it works. I don't really know. It probably won't my luck, but oh well. Bro, I'll just drop it, I guess. There we go. Now let's see if we can catch us some fishers. Fishers? Fish fishies. Fishies. We're gonna go catch some fishies. But, you know, it hasn't rained in a while, so maybe I have something to do with it. Oh, oh. Was that is that, is that a fish? Oh, that wasn't a fish. I think that was just getting caught on something. Oh, dang it. Mm, I'm hung up. Oh, this sucks. Can't get it loose. I think it's time to sign off. Well, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed And if you did, go ahead and let me know by dropping a like. If you want to see more, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Go down. Leave me a comment if you'd like to. You can click over on the left for more videos. Click down on the bottom right to subscribe. And also go follow me on social media for updates, polls, and more. Well, anyway, guys. Thanks for watching. The views greatly appreciated. I'll see you guys next time.